Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. Um, I have a new digital to show you. I know I said I wasn't going to do uh, many or as many digitals as I have been doing, but I had this one already in the works. So I'm going to go ahead and show it to you guys. It is called Spooky Watercolor, and I finally, um, in Procreate, I got some watercolor paper. So um, it has that nice kind of, I don't know what you call it. There's a texture to the to the background and you can probably definitely see it but anyway it's 20 pages and there's also a freebie that comes with it and that freebie will be made in the video coming up so you'll get to see how it was painted and everything and then um and then you'll get to have that if you purchase the digital download but along with that, I am doing a freebie at the bottom of this video that is the sketch of what we're going to be painting so that you can do it with me. <laughs> so you can go, it's um, going to be downloaded from my Google Drive, so you'll get it um, right from below this video. So if you go into the description box below this video, you'll be able to find that and um, download it and print it out and then you can paint with me. And I'll show you how I would do it using something like this. You can paint directly onto this, but um, I'll show you another way in case you don't want to have all of the uh, pencil lines because this is the finished product. And so you'll get this uh, in a copy in the digital, okay? So um, I wasn't too sure when I made the video that you'll see that I'm going to attach to this video uh, how I was going to do that, but I have since uh, fixed all of it. So anyways, there's this page. And we have Mr. Frankenstein. So these are super fun. I am very excited. I had a blast doing this. Love the pumpkins. Some of them are just more autumnal and some of them are more Halloween-ish. So I kind of did a mix so that you could use different things for different journals or, um, you know, just, I mean, autumn is part of that or Halloween is part of that autumn thing. So I kind of did it together, a little scarecrow going for a walk to get stuff out of her garden, it looks like. And there's pumpkins all over the place. So very fun. And this is um, more the spooky version. It's called Spooky Watercolor. Did I say that already? I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> my brain, you know, it's always going 100 miles an hour in 8 million different directions. So never know what I might say. This one's really cool. I love all the paint brushes and all that. So very fun. And it looks great on the watercolor background paper. Big old bat. This would be a good sort of center one. So would the, the witch that was just on. So see, this is more of the autumnal pages, which you could use in loads of different things. And this one as well, more just autumnal. And then, so you get three of these sort of background um, pages that are full color. And then I also did the muted colors so that you could write on these. So this is the muted one. And there is a little black dot. That was in the paper. There were some little spots where there were sort of different colors. But just want you guys to know that was in the, the paper. So there's the, another muted one and another one. So these would be great to write on. So when you um, have them in your journal, if you want to back your more colorful pages with these. But then so you could definitely write on those. And then you'll get lots of spooky characters here to cut out and use on tags or whatever you want. I didn't do tags and stuff with this one. I did a lot of these uh, more more like journaling cards just because I had all these really cool images that I was like, I don't know, I just, I just want these in there. So that's what I did this time. Just, you know, mixing it up a little bit. Sometimes I feel like I like to make my own tags. I don't really necessarily love the already printed tags because I feel like they need something else and so with these type of things I feel like you can add these on top of say a bigger journaling card just as a fun image and then I did the oval and circle there and pumpkins you can cut out and then you'll get the um, number 10 window envelope cover which I generally orient this direction when I do things but I mean there's loads of things you can do with these and I've done videos on that. And then the um, CD envelope cover 
which you've seen Carol Laws, she does lots with these CD envelope covers. She usually shrinks them down, which you can totally do. And then this is the freebie. So that will come with your 20 page digital download. And we're going to go paint this right now. Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. So in honor of my um, new digital that I just showed you guys, the Halloween one, I am going to do a little Halloween um, paint with me. And so what I mean by paint with me is I will be offering this um, sketch. This is just a, a line sketch, nothing, nothing spectacular, but then we're going to watercolor. So um, it's in the description box below this video. You'll be able to, to go to my Google Drive link and um, download this sketch and then you can paint along with me if you so choose. So um, this is just a quick sketch that I did this morning and uh, I was just in the mood to do something kind of fun and Halloween-y. I know it's it's only August but uh, you know you gotta kind of kind of get started on those things or they're not going to get done. So <clears throat> when you get this sketch the way I'm going to do it you could just paint right on to the sketch if that's what you want to do. Um, and it'll, it's a freebie, kind of as a thank you to you guys, because you've just been so awesome putting up with me and all my um, harebrained craziness that I've been going through lately. So um, I really appreciate you very, very much, and I cannot even tell you how much. <laughs> so this is just a little thank you. Clearly, um, you know, doesn't even say how thankful I am. So but I thought it would be fun if we did this together. So what I'm going to do, this is gonna be a little bit tricky, I know, is kind of line it up on some 140 pound uh, watercolor paper, and it's just generic. You can use any store brand. Um, this one is from um, Hobby Lobby, but you can use whatever craft brand you like to use. You don't have to use the same one I'm using. And um, I have colored on the back using just a sketch pencil. So a kind of, it was a little bit soft. Number two, oh my goodness, I can't turn this over. Sketch pencil is all that I did. And I just, you know, went over the whole thing so that um, it's all covered with the lead on the back. You just do that. I just didn't want to make you guys sit here and watch me do the entire thing. You get the idea. But make sure you get a good cover on it because you're going to flip it over, put it on your watercolor paper, and then we're going to go over all these lines, which I know is, you know, not the funnest thing in the whole wide world. But I think that in the end, hopefully it will turn out to be a fun, a fun thing to do. And what I'll probably do is get started here and then um, I'm doing this so that I don't move it. Um, I'll pause, finish doing it, and then come back when it's, when it's complete. Okay. So all I'm going to do is go over all these lines. And I know this is kind of hard. It doesn't have to be totally perfect because you're going to be watercoloring it anyways. And like you can see my, um, old shaky hand has drawn all these scrappy scriggly <laughs> lines um this will be more free flowing anyway once it's watercolored so you don't need to worry about that but you're just you kind of need to press a little bit hard and get all the little squiggles and you don't have to trace every single line i have because you're just trying to get the the idea of it really is what you want because you're not going to be able to see every single line anyway with the pencil on the other side so you really just want to get a basic idea of where the lines are and a lot of these are going to be black so it'll be easy to cover them this is a 05 micron So how are you guys all doing? I hope you're good. I was so excited to get on and do this. I um, haven't even printed out my new digital yet, but it's a Halloween one and it's watercolor and you've already seen it if um, you're watching this video because I'm going to attach a flip through on the beginning of the video. So 
I hope you like it, and I hope you join me doing this little sketchy Halloween fun thing, and you can put it in your Halloween journal, add it in. I know it's uh, kind of going the wrong direction for the orientation, but uh, you could print it out smaller too and do like a five by seven size or something. This is eight and a half by 11, obviously. But you can do it however you want. I just wanted to say thank you, and I think it would be fun. Maybe I'll do these every once in a while. I'm not making huge promises about, yeah, I'm going to do these every week or something. Because, I mean, this obviously is um, time-consuming to do this and get it scanned. And all the steps that you don't think about, you know, <laughs> like to get it all done. But, yeah. Just something fun we can do together and like I said I appreciate you guys so much and I thank you and if you're new to my channel welcome and if you've followed me for a while welcome back I love you guys you're so amazing and I appreciate you very much and thank you for everybody who has clicked on the little thanks button up by the share button on your Usually phone or iPad or something like that. I don't think it works on the TV. I don't know. I haven't really looked at that. But I know on a phone it does work. So but there's a little button. That, it has a heart on it and it says thanks. And if you want to, you can donate a little tip to me to support my channel, which is greatly appreciated, I can tell you. Because as artist, it uh, is hard sometimes. But I love what I do, and I want to keep doing it. And so many of you have been so kind, saying, you know, I want I want you to keep having your channel and all that. Which, if I have to go back to work full time, I'm going to be honest. I'm probably not going to be around very much, <laughs> just because you know. Still got all the life stuff that we all do, the grocery shopping and the house cleaning and all those fun things that all of us have to do. But I really appreciate all your support. You guys are awesome and you're so sweet. And that means the world to me. I know this, uh, this biz I'm in is very competitive. <laughs> So, not all of us can make it, right? Which I understand. Just makes me sad because I've been doing it for six years, but, you know, life is. And when you're done uh, sketching, if you're not happy with the way it came out, you know, I'm not, I didn't even stop the camera. I guess I should do that. Um... If you're not happy with the way it came out, you can do it again, or you can add some other lines if you feel like it. But like I said, we're gonna watercolor, so this sketch doesn't have to be perfect. And then after you're done too, you can also go back in and add lines um, wherever you, know, you feel like you need them, the little after sketchy lines. I just wanted this to look real scraggly, which works great for my shaky hand um since it's an old tree and if you wanted to too you could even use like a red ballpoint pen to do this part because clearly you're not going to see the red ballpoint pen right but it might help you because i was just thinking this might be hard to do um with the photocopy because you'll be like did i do those lines did i get that part you know what i'm saying so it might be handy to um, do a different color pen because that's not going to matter. But yeah, I would love if you guys do these with me, I would love to see. I just think it's so fun to see, you know, how other people would do this. So I would love to do that. I really would love to see that. And we can just have whenever I can do these for you guys. 
um, just have our own little painting group thing going. I think that would be fun if you guys are interested. Okay, I forgot this guy up here. Kind of messed that branch up, but it's fine. It's an old witchy tree, right? And then my funky little witch here. It's her dress and her hair and cape and whatever else. I don't even know. I just drew lots of flowy things happening here. You can make them more flowy. That's the awesome part about doing your own with me. You can make this however you like it. Our funny little boot here. Our little flowy sleeves. The face is a little tricky because it's very little, but she's got the big witchy nose and the big witchy chin. <laughs> Never actually seen a witch, so couldn't tell you what they look like, but <laughs> I always loved when I was a kid to dress up um, on Halloween as a witch. I think I was a witch for, I don't even know how many years, a whole lot of years. I just thought that was super fun with the funky hat and cape and all the stuff, right? Green face, painted my face green. So, one of my favorite things. I always loved Halloween because my best friend, Michelle, the one that came and visited um, last week, we would have so much fun trick-or-treating. Okay, I think I got all the things, and I didn't even pause you guys. Sorry about that if that was torturous. I guess you could fast forward. So I'm going to peel just one side off and see how we did, because we might have to go over some lines again. Okay, I know you guys probably can't see it. I forgot one side of my pumpkin's head over there, but that's okay. I can just take a pencil and go in. Put his side of his head or face or whatever on this here pumpkin. I think I'm good. So I'm gonna paint with that. If you want your lines darker, make them darker. You can add leaves, because you can see I kind of have some old janky leaves on there. And then you can use this again. So that's the awesome part, is you can use it multiple times. So now we're gonna do the watercolor part. I think I am gonna tape this down, so I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I have a 16 round, that's my big one. That's what I'm gonna use to do my it's gonna be kind of like the moon now clearly i understand that the moon should be up here and the tree but we're doing it my way <laughs> an eight round and a quarter dagger striper i guess is what these are called i have no clue you guys i am not a watercolorist by any kind of training so anyways it's the one that has that you know kind of dagger flat edge with the point and this is going to be good for doing the branches. I did discover when I did my little nest um, that that one was very helpful. So anyways that's what we're using and then I'm using these again and I don't even know the name of this company but I keep linking it on my in my description box. So if you go down to my description box um, the link to it is there on Amazon and you can go read, you know, whatever you, you would like to know about it. I didn't, um, I mean, I looked at it, but I didn't read a whole bunch into it because I already had it. I didn't have to, it was gifted to me. Thank you so much, Robin. That was awesome of her to do that. I mean, my goodness, so kind. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm just mixing different yellows that are in here. Just use what you've got. You don't have to have the same watercolors I do. You can use whatever you like. This is um, 
you know, simple sort of, not super duper fancy. And I'm going to just kind of go in with this. And I don't care if it ends up being completely round because that's not that important to me. I just used a tape, a roll of tape to get this in the first place. So don't worry if it's not perfect. It doesn't need to be. It kind of, I think it's going to look a little bit better if it's not 100% perfect, honestly. Oh, and then the other thing I wanted to do before I go any further, I'm going to take my spray bottle. I kind of just want to see if some of that color will go out. We're just going to let that be for a second. And then I want some purple kind of as my background. So let's see. And I want it pretty thin. I don't want, so I'm going to water it down even more. It's just going to be a background color. I don't want a lot of black because, I, you know, the tree and stuff's going to be black. So I don't feel like you're going to be able to see very well if we start using black in our background. But I do want enough to get this going here. And I'm just going to kind of go over all of it. And of course, this is going to sort of take away my wanted waterier. And I don't want it perfectly to the edges. Like, I don't want anything about it perfect, basically. probably pause for a minute and get this all dry because as you can see I'm gonna have a kind of puddly mess on my hands this is a first for me on these I have not done one like this so <laughs> I have no idea how this is gonna turn out we'll just say that I'm gonna lift just a little off of her face so I can still see her face. I am not professing to be a watercolor artist. <laughs> I mean, so many of you have been so kind. Ooh, I kind of like that when you go across the moon um, and bring some of that yellow out. That's kind of cool. Um, and said, you know, you think I am an art, a watercolor artist, but I just want you to know I say that because I don't have like training or like I haven't taken classes or done any of those kind of things so like I did paint for a lot of years um doing murals and things like that but that was again all things that I did on my own so I just don't I'm sure there's people that are much um 
more knowledgeable than I am. <laughs> I'll say that. All right, so I'm going to get this dry and I'll be right back. <laughs> 